Hey, what's up guys? It's Scarce here, and today I have a new video with a bunch of news for today. The first story here comes from Comedy Shorts Gamer. You guys probably know who Comedy Shorts Gamer is. He's around 7 million subscribers on his channel, a massive fucking YouTuber, and he tweeted this out today. He said, just been in a car accident, I'm okay. So he got into a fucking car accident today, and this really sucks, but he does say here that he is okay. I'm not sure if he actually got sent to, like, the hospital or something. I've looked through all of his social medias and stuff, and he hasn't updated us on anything else since, but it does seem like, you know, nothing bad is going to happen to him, at least as of right now. But also, if you don't don't know comedy shorts gamer owns a lambo okay a really nice lamborghini i'm pretty sure it's a lamborghini huracan or something and obviously like he shows this off to his subscribers all the time he's super happy about it and i'm not sure maybe he actually got into a crash with his lambo that would cost him so much money to fix so i hope that didn't happen to him as well so obviously i'm just waiting for comedy shorts gamer to update us on the situation i mean obviously he could have a ton of bruises on his body and stuff but he could still be saying that he is okay which really that doesn't mean that he's okay but at least you know nothing bad happened like nothing really bad like devastating uh, i don't know if he went to the hospital i don't know anything like that we're just waiting for an update on his social media and for the next story of today we have one here from a youtuber named top trends this guy's around 800,000 subscribers he uploaded a video like a couple days ago called the top 10 hottest youtuber sisters this has over 800,000 views and he was just ranking youtuber sisters by how hot they were which actually got a lot of youtubers pissed off now top trends showed one youtuber sisters in his video and this youtuber's name is mess yourself okay and he has two different sisters and obviously top trends was calling them really fucking hot in this video so mess yourself got super pissed off at top trends now keep in mind mess yourself is a massive youtuber over 2 million subscribers he tweeted this to top trends today he said thanks to top trends for ranking my sisters by their looks in their latest video this is absolutely disgusting he got super pissed off at top trends today he went on to tweet this out he said it makes me so sad and frustrated that youtuber culture now says it's okay to do these sort of things and be able to call yourself a youtuber then he tweeted this out he said i care a lot about my family and i'm objectifying them by their looks and ranking them is something i do not approve of at all so obviously he was super fucking pissed off at top trends now top trends apologized immediately to mess herself he said i just want to apologize to mess herself my intentions were never bad but i was a bit disrespectful and mess herself has not yet responded since so i don't know if these guys have beef or if they're cool now because mess herself just has not responded to top trends i don't know if he's refusing to respond to him or if he's ignoring him or something because obviously he was really fucking pissed off before he got on twitter he tweeted a ton of shit to top trends and then he just got off Twitter and for the next story today guys we got one here from a Russian youtuber this guy's around 300,000 subscribers he uploaded a video a couple days ago where he basically like was just walking around playing some Pokemon Go okay and he was actually walked into a cathedral now this was a really religious place that he walked into like this fucking cathedral apparently is like super religious and like it it's such a big deal so he walked into this cathedral and he was just playing Pokemon Go in there and you know people were just watching him play Pokemon Go it wasn't really that big a deal but a lot of people got pissed off at him he got over 16,000 dislikes a ton of like russians and stuff were saying oh this is so disrespectful you're just playing pokemon go for a video and you're going into this really you know big time cathedral and tons of people don't want people you know playing video games here because people think it's supposed to be just a place of religious worship and he's not supposed to be filming videos there so actually this was reported on the moscow times today it says the vlogger who filmed himself playing pokemon go could go to prison okay that's actually 100 real like he literally just filmed himself in this cathedral playing pokemon go but because he did that he could be facing a lot of years in fucking prison now and it says here in the article that police have charged this youtube vlogger the person who filmed himself playing pokemon go inside a cathedral with committing extremism and offending religious sensitivity and then it says here that he has been detained and awaits trial on september 3rd to determine if he will be arrested his lawyer says if convicted he will face several years in prison okay i kind of understand where they're coming from i understand why it's disrespectful but actually sending him to prison for that is so ridiculous dude it doesn't even sound real like why the fuck would they think about sending him to prison for that i understand it's disrespectful i understand people can hate on him for it but to actually fucking like have legal charges against him now because he just filmed in a cathedral doesn't make any sense to me and for the next story today guys we got one here from a guy named yfjr now this is the guy that strike leafy's video yesterday if you don't know leafy had a video uh, called his 4.2 million subscriber special and it was striked by this guy named YFJR and tons of Leafy fans got pissed off at this guy and he tweeted this out today he said fam me and Leafy are cool his video is being reinstated I talked to my network and they're on it so it seems like he's going to be able to get Leafy's video back up apparently his network actually auto claimed the video so it was not his fault but he got so much hate from Leafy fans yesterday tons of Leafy fans got pissed off at him because apparently people thought that he striked his video so this YFJR guy the guy who's getting harassed by Leafy fans tweeted this Twitter video at me 
What the fuck? There's no way this is actually happening right now. Guys, this is outside my house right now. What the fuck? Are you... Hold up, this can't be real right now. <laughs> there is no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hey! What the fuck? Yes, I doubt that that's real, but if that was real, that would be fucking hilarious, dude. Like, a Leafy fan actually came to his house, they found out where he lived, and they started throwing, like, eggs at his windows. I mean, that would be so funny, but I doubt it's real. I think he was actually just joking around, but he was actually getting a lot of hate from Leafy fans, and I kind of feel bad. Hopefully, people do understand now that he is trying to get the video reinstated, and he's trying to actually help out Leafy now. And for the next story today, guys, we got one here from a YouTuber named DMB Nation. This guy has a big reaction channel. He tweeted this out today. He said, we were going to upload this new challenge video, but we had to go back to the the hospital okay now i think it's because of his kid he tweeted out a picture of his girl in the hospital and he said hashtag dj hashtag get better so obviously i hope he gets better and for our next story today we have one here from matthew santoro now matthew santoro uploaded a video today called 10 famous cases of plagiarism okay so this is actually kind of ironic uh, if you guys don't know like matthew santoro got exposed a couple months ago for apparently being a plagiarist a ton of people were calling him a plagiarist because he like didn't like link his source in the description and he was just taking from like reddit posts and other things online to make his list videos so a lot of people got pissed off at matthew santoro and then he obviously got exposed and someone confronted him about it like only two months ago at vidcon so he did get a good amount of hate on this video but at the beginning of the video he actually roasted himself and he had like a little skit where he basically was saying that he has copied other people as well if you guys don't know matthew santoro has admitted that he's you know plagiarizing stuff before and for the final story of today we have one here from a streamer named ken's and a youtuber named optic scump you guys might know who optic scump is he has like a ton of subscribers millions of subscribers and he's in a team called optic a huge gaming team and basically ken's is a streamer as well and she has been on and off with scump they've always had relationships and then they've always kind of broken up and recently they broke up well actually a couple months ago they broke up and they've kind of been off for like a couple months now it's probably the longest time they were broken up for and tons of people are asking are they ever going to get back together well only a couple days ago ken's actually got followed by optic scump and then ken's tweeted this out and she said seth got a hotel room for us at champs but doesn't want us to be seen with me so she's at a gaming event and apparently they were actually back together but scump did not want anyone to see him with her i guess because he was embarrassed because they've you know obviously broken up and gotten back together so much so then last night she tweeted out a picture of her in an optic sweater so it looks like she actually might be back together with scump still but she tweeted this out as well she said so i literally got kicked out of cod champs so she got kicked out of cod champs last night i don't fucking know why this story just started to get kind of confusing and honestly I don't know what's going on behind the scenes but obviously there is a ton of drama that is happening right now behind the scenes so I really want to know what the fuck is going on so if you guys have any intel be sure to tweet it at me and that's it for the video today guys I hope you enjoyed if you did leave a thumbs up and I'll see you later peace